Singapore's air cargo handling firm, SATS, is teaming up with local universities and polytechnics to develop more training tools, including using AI simulators to prevent accidents on the tarmac. The goal is to help staff keep up with the rapidly changing aviation industry and keep Singapore flying high as a global air hub. CNA Charlotte Lim speaks to the CEO of SATS Singapore Hub on what's changing on the ground. It will mark a new era in the aviation sector when Terminal 5 opens in the mid-2030s. From smarter systems to seamless journeys, the mega-terminal will redefine how the airport operates. Terminal 5 represents uh, an opportunity for us to totally rethink and reimagine what ground handling can be. And uh, the journey that SETS has decided to undertake is to embark on our hub handler of the future vision in order for us to rethink what does it mean in order to operate a safe and sustainable air hub, how do we transform passenger experiences through uh, automation, how do we take this opportunity to rethink our concept of operations in order to handle both cargo and planes differently. Work has already started. The firm launched a new cargo handling facility in August, which is capable of handling twice the amount of air cargo daily. It also serves as a test bit for future cargo operations at Terminal 5. To further improve efficiency, digital technology is also transforming manually intensive processes. But a recent study warns about a third of the current 60,000 jobs in the aviation sector are at risk of being displaced by AI. The firm is also going big on digitalization and automation. And with such modernization taking place, there are often worries on the ground. So tell us more about what SETS is doing uh, to bring the workforce along as the sector evolves. In order for us to uh, facilitate our change management journey, really is to bring our workforce early uh, in the co-designing of what it means uh, to work at SETS. So at our, uh, uh, over the last uh, 12 months, uh, we have uh, embarked on a job redesign journey and to date uh, we have uh, successfully redesigned 11 roles as we uh, maintain and service new types of equipment, be it uh, uh, electric vehicles, be it autonomous vehicles. We are also keen to look at what jobs will look like into the future as uh, we introduce more autonomous vehicles. Mr. Lowe says this also means making greater use of AI to upskill and retrain talent. We believe that simulation and simulators are the way to go. Uh, and we have worked with uh, IHL in order for us to develop a simulator package for our driving workforce within uh, the, app, the, the, the airport environment in order to simulate uh, different events which may, may not uh, experience on a day-to-day -day basis. What we have found is that then uh, enhances their learning curve uh, and we are working closely in order to develop different simulator packages. So could you shed more light on some of the challenges that the sector is facing? We are very much affected by things that happen outside of our immediate geographical uh, boundaries. To be it a fire, be it a typhoon that's happening elsewhere. The challenge for us is how do we remain nimble? How do we remain agile? How do we then have a, a team, a workforce, an operating system that is able to absorb, uh, not just absorb all of this, to be able to look ahead and to adjust to some of the operating realities on the ground and for us to still deliver outcomes for our cargo and passenger customers uh, uh, effortlessly. Mr Lowe, if we speak again next year, what is one promise that you hope you would have fulfilled? So I've set out the year to do three big things. One, to reinforce our safety, security and performance standards. Two, to re-engineer, to commence the journey of re-engineering our uh, training uh, methodology as well as uh, commence the re-engineering of our concept of operations for what it means to operate hub handling and three for us to rejuvenate uh, our infrastructure as well as our fleet.